having a wish list sometimes can make things unrealistic. And when we have wish lists, it can also close the door to things that we might not have expected we really like. And so being able to have a general set of values and expectations for what you want and standards for what you want in a relationship, knowing what your deal breakers are, that's tremendously important so that you don't waste your time. But at the same time, being too rigid and saying, this is what I need to have in order to be happy, you're putting the cart before the horse. Someone may come who makes you happy and feel fulfilled, which is more important, in a way that you didn't expect, and you have to be open to that. And so being able to expect versus have a wish list is really the route to go. So when it comes to making a wish list of qualities in terms of who you want to date, I don't advise it, and here's why. Oftentimes, what we think we want is much different than what we need. So I see a lot of people write down all these characteristics of what they want. Often, a lot of them are kind of superficial, and it's not really necessarily what they need. And sometimes they can rule out someone that may not check every box that could be a great potential match for them. We saw this on the show. Naya thought she wanted like this big personality, someone more like her. Who she ended up marrying was not like that, Danny, who's more sweet and a little quieter than her. But that was a great match for her because he could fit into her life and be a stepfather to her son. And that was more of what she needed. So instead of a wish list, which is a lot of expectations that normally one person can't really live up to, what I advise singles to do is to really write out your non-negotiables. Like what are the things that are like deal breakers for you? Like someone who's not a smoker. Is faith and religion an important thing for you? Do you want children? Like what are the non-negotiables, deal breakers, things you will not budge on? And then what are your values and vision? Like what are you moving towards? What kind of life do you want to create? Finding someone that meets your deal breakers and is moving towards the same visions and values that you are is a much better way to attract a match than writing some wish list.